This morning, I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, Long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passé. What did you do? I shouted, Long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But this is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison, but the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Châtelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. Nobody try anything. Come on, boys! Find me a warden! God will judge you. You can thank me by getting to the walls and stopping these killings. Oui, monsieur.
un espion Un voleur Some shitheads kid having a lark. Where did he? Something's not right.
come now, Warden. Let's here. Vive la revolution! There's no way out of beat! What's the matter? Not a fan of liberty? Freedom bores you. Ah! Look! He misses you! Who's killed you? Slay all of them. Now fair enough. I can't board it! Your brother will make you rude! Mine! He's lost a bit of weight since last you saw him. <laughs> Under its side! Oh. Are you so kin, Warden? Well, I'm terribly sorry, Sullivan. Warden. Only Did I well, just lose the We kid. couldn't find the rest of him. <laughs> Hang on. Can't have gone far now, can he? Well, if you don't want it, I, I suppose. I suppose it would I make don't a give up your horse out! Didn't become Come a on, proper smoke. Sing! Sing! Come now, Warden. Let's have a cheer. Vive la Revolution! What's the matter? Not a fan of liberty. Freedom bores you. Ah! Look! He misses you! <laughs> tut, tut, Warden! Your brother will think you rude! Mine! He's lost a bit of weight since last you saw him. I suppose it would make a fine souvenir. Allons au bord de la patrie, le jour de toi est arrivé. orders to remove us from this hall. You must also get authority to use force, for we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, but to administer is to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? Palais de Luxembourg. Roy, clean up your mess, it's tight. Told you I could make him talk.
You've done well, Captain. Read. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. What do you know about grain merchants? Good to see you too. Most of them are very poor just now, why? I have a lead on Germain. He has a woman named Marie buying up grain shipments and diverting them to a private dock. Marie Levesque? You know her. The Levesques have been Templars since the Third Crusade. Marie was the only one who argued against Germain's exile. I'm not surprised she's thrown in with him. Any idea where we might find her? Not her, no. But what little grain makes it to Paris these days is unloaded at the Hôtel de Ville docks. Promising. I'll start there. Perhaps I can learn something of Madame Levesque's whereabouts. Chase the boat. Heave to! Tie off the bowling! Captain! Any problems? No, madame. You have your orders? Here, madame. Good. And I'm instructed to tell you to make certain one of the bags leaks. Uh... Yes, madame. Get to work!
me fais caler à mon travail, citoyen. Je n'ai jamais... Je vais aller acheter la gazelle et la lire loin d'ici. Palle Luxembourg. Hmm. And what are you up to there? You were right. Marie Lévesque had men unloading the barges and taking the grain to the Palais du Luxembourg. If the people think the royal family has been hoarding food in a time of famine... Bedlam. Just the sort of thing Germain seems to thrive on. Madame Lévesque is yours. I'll find the stolen grain and try to get it out of there before anyone finds it. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Help! Help! Someone help me! Hand over the powder! If I could only get my hands on that guard. Lovely party. You've outdone yourself this time. Merci. Now pray excuse me, I need to see to my husband. Be it from me to ignore an artist in need. Almost there! Kill you for that! 
dans le bien-être, il y a le plus grand nombre. Thank you, my friend. I only wish I could reward you properly. No need. The distraction will be more than enough. What was that? Nothing. Well, well, he's undertaken this mm. little good deed. Well done, well, son. Just your breathing. One less rabbit dog. Thank you, Strength Z. Ross, 
J'adorais ce cheval. Non, ça n'a rien de suspect. Rien du tout. Too soon. It's too soon. Too soon. It's too soon. Remember what?
what I told you, Marie. Oui, maman. Francois Thomas Germain, for your crimes against the Templar Order, you are cast out. Let any man offering succor to the exile share his fate. Fool. The man speaks to me. Now it's mine, De La Serre. De La Serre! Milady, you have a caller. I need your help, Marie. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting against the revolution out of one side of his mouth, while he promises to support the Constitution out the other. Good. I trust you can get this information into the proper hands, Monsieur de Peltier. Of course, Grandmaster. With this evidence in hand, the King's conviction is certain. We have a mission. 